are all going to like what Allie is <laughs> whipping up. So come on in and join us, Maria. Allie, tell us about these adorable Valentine's treats. I know, they're so cute, yes. right? I love them. I just thought it'd be like the perfect little thing to whip up for Valentine's Day. And they're really easy to make and they're sweet and yummy and festive. And they are, are inspired by a Valentine's match. Uh, yes. The movies happening this Saturday at Hallmark Channel. Tell us how you were inspired by I know, I love a good love story. Yeah. I mean, don't we all? I mean, yes, so a Valentine's match. It stars Bethany and Joy Lenz and Luke McFarlane. And they play like ex fiancés right? Like, so they used to be engaged, and then we don't know what happened, but something happened, and then they get back together. Um, and they're reuniting in their hometown, and I have a feeling some sparks are going to fly. Well, right? I hope so, because otherwise <laughs> it could be real prickly, you know, ex fiancés yeah, Exactly, you know I mean? exactly. But I figured while you're watching the movie, you can make these with your guests, with your friends who come over for your viewing party, or you can make them before and serve them, right? Okay, fantastic fun. ideas. I know that there's some people already enjoying them. That is Debbie Marie. I've already <laughs> eaten my I mean, the three top. of you have never been and so quiet. In. You got yourself in here in a hurry, Marie. I ran. I am very impressed. Okay. okay. The good news is about this first little treat is that I get to use a mallet. That, that you do. That's that my you big do. takeaway from all of this. <laughs> so to make these um, little heart pops, they're so easy to make. So I just okay. took some like Jolly Rancher candies and put them in there. These are cinnamon, but you could use cherry or watermelon or really whatever um, flavor you want. To, you just it just have to match whatever color you want. Obviously, I wanted red, so you just put them in a little bag. Okay, and, and you, you smash them away. Up. Because the idea is that we have to try and uh, melt them, right? And this will make them melt a little faster. Exactly. Just by doing that, pounding them, getting... <laughs> <laughs> My work here is done. So once you do that, you just pour them out of the bag into a pot, and you're yes. going to put them on the stove. They'll melt down pretty quickly. So because we we did that, I already have some over here that's melted. Probably anywhere from 7 to 8 minutes, 10 minutes tops, it's going to melt into this liquid right here. I love here. the fact you don't have to make a special trip to, like, the baked goods to get candy melts. It's just good old Right? Yes. That's exactly right. And look how red and Valentine's-y this looks already. Look okay, great. <laughs> so you'll need Need this um, mold to make your pops. You can get these. Um, you can find them online really okay. easily. Um, and then you want to just pour in. I did. I, I sprayed it first with some cooking spray, so they pop out easily. And then you're just gonna pour in your um, lollipop mixture. Good here. hands, by the way. Yeah, you I'm want, impressed. Yeah, you want to do this carefully. You don't really want it bubbling up over the edges. It's hard to sort of clean up. So just do a little bit at a time. You can always go back and put in more if there's not enough. And then just like you're doing, Cam, that's perfect. You just pop the lollipop sticks in just like that. And I'm there you go, homemade lollipops. So difficult work. And then you have it. Now, how long do you have to let these cool before it all comes together? Um, you know, it, it really kind of depends on the size of your mold okay. is how long okay. each one did. But you'll gotcha. know, once they're ready to go, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to feel them. They're ready to pop That's out. So cute. So, yeah, you can just pop them out just okay. like that. Good. I didn't want to, like, you know. No, they should just Ooh. come out because, yeah, there we go. Perfectly. Aww. Look how cute they are. Adorable, but they're not quite done yet because you're going to make them extra, uh, well, I don't know, extra kind of fancy. Yes, extra sparkly. I feel like, Maria, you'll appreciate this. I'm There's very... glitter involved. Um, okay, so then. <laughs> so, all I did is this is some edible glitter. I just thought by taking this and just dusting it on top, it just made them sort of extra special, right? You don't have to put any adhesive or anything? Mm. Like, no, the lollipop here, I'll let you do some more cameras. The lollipop's already sticky. sticky. So it just so sticks it, right to it. It just sticks right on top. I and feel this is really though I need to fun. Oh, I like what you though. did, just kind of dusting it over. It actually looks nicer like that. Well, wow, Cameron, look at uh, you. Uh, I decided like to make. Disco ball. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> look at this. Oh, And cheers. how great are those? You can wrap cheers. them in cellophane, put a little bow around them, and give them as gifts. Oh, those yeah, are cute. Valentine's for your kids those in are school. Cute. We, hi, you guys don't have any. We have a few. Oh, my gosh, yes, I have one. I didn't realize you didn't have one in your drink. Okay, yeah, yeah, let me do one. Let me do a couple more so you guys can all get one. Yeah, I want the glitter. Mm -hmm. Oh, they look so there you cute. Go. Yeah, ladies first. I'm preparing Aww, for round two. Go. Thank you. Okay, so yes, yeah, so here, yeah. what we have, we have yeah. our chilled mugs. I just want, I thought a little drink, you know, would be fun for this. So I got some strawberry ice cream. I'm kind of sticking with like the pink, you know, that I like for, um, for Valentine's Day. And of you're just going to put in a few scoops of ice cream into your chilled mug. We call these the Cupid floats? The Cupid floats. How's That's that? what it is. Okay. You know, you might have a date over. You might really win them over if you make one of these. Spark some love while watching, you know, the movie. I mean, listen, if you were at home and you made your own uh, little uh, lollipops and your own Cupid floats, I mean, I'm impressed. <laughs> this is going to be did. great. I'm going to do I just it. slipped it right in there so then you could put it in your little float. Oh, super cute. So it's a two-in-one. Love it. Super. <laughs> super. 
So this is just some lemon lime soda that just I'm gonna put in and then to just okay. give it a little extra Valentine's flair, just some little grenadine over here. It's like a kind of oh, like a Shirley Temple. That's what makes it kind that's of like the what pink it is. Color. You know? okay. yeah. Yummy Ew. and colorful. Stick it and in you guys there. are enjoying that. You know, yeah. I am a sucker for ice cream, mm. so you I'm had a me an ice cream. Sucker. And this is really healthy. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you've got to be able to indulge. One of the reasons that I try to be so healthy in my life is so that I get to enjoy at the same time. You know? it, it, uh, well, not at the absolutely. same time. Absolutely. You've got to have these little, little indulgences times. in life because it just makes life that much sweeter, doesn't it, Cameron? Okay, we need a All straw. Right. Oh, yeah, straw, a little hard straw, throw them in. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Get in there. Cheers. Cheers. It's like Cheers. a Shirley Temple meets a root beer float. This is it so really much is. fun. You guys mm. head on over to Hallmark Channel. Com for the full recipe to make these delicious treats while you enjoy Valentine's match this Saturday night on Hallmark Channel.